Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and you're joining me for a bike ride that pretty much sums up my life. Starting off by going down the towpath away from good old narrowboat Tilly and first of all immediately bumping into somebody who recognised me from YouTube so I had a very slow bit of cycling here just next to the boat having a chat and talking about where they'd been and so on and now we're heading out past Blakemere that you can just see to the right hand side of the screen and it's all this beautiful rural stuff then we make our way up onto the road and at this point I should really say that we're biking not to my mum's house or my family's house for work or anything like that but we're heading out to Western Rin where my friends live and where I spend a lot of time moored up as my winter mooring and so on. And the reason that this exemplifies my life in general is that what you're currently seeing me do here is take the wrong turning. So we've immediately left the beautiful rural scenery and all that lovely boaty sort of stuff and gone the wrong way. And at this point, I just didn't realise. And because I've biked and been around these places so many times, and obviously during the course of the year as I move around on hilly, I have all sorts of different biking routes and that. But because it was familiar and I sort of recognised places, I was thinking, hmm, I'm not sure this is right, but yeah, it's got to be because I know all these places that I'm going around. And of course, as it turned out, I'm not sure if I put in about three miles extra on top of a 10 or 11 mile ride. I'm not entirely certain of the uh, numbers at this point, but basically it added an awful lot more biking to an already not particularly sort of flat or easy bike ride. I've got a few random clips here of various vehicles and that passing us, but you'll notice that from a lot of these clips, it's not as if we're going down the busiest roads that there's ever been in the world. And that's quite interesting. It's something that I find quite lucky, really, that you've got these nice big roads, and it's certainly not the best road surface to bike on, certainly not with these proper rock-solid uh, road bike tyres. So you'll probably notice there's a good few shaky camera angles. But being able to have all of this sort of road network that cuts through super rural areas and there's all these different lanes that go off one way or another that you get very little if any traffic down and I just I don't know it's again it's what I say I suppose in all of my videos about being so lucky to grow up in rural areas like this where you can just hop on a bike or put your boots on and then walk off bike off and just be in the middle of nowhere and something like this, like I say, that it's not the shortest bike ride, it's not the easiest bike ride that I do, but the fact that so much of it, even as you're cutting through these different little villages, I mean, we've been through Ellesmere to start with, this is St Martin's, we cut through Duddleston Heath, also known as Crifton's, a little bit earlier on, and there's all these different places that there's hardly anything there, they're just very large villages, I would say, but at the same time, because there's a few houses dotted around here and there, and there's a few houses down a little lane somewhere, that's why there is this incredible network with very few people using it. And even at this point, we're biking towards one of the main roundabouts in the area. And because this isn't the busiest way that people want to go, and the traffic carries on straight ahead at the roundabout that's on the other side of this hill, as you can see, we're just approaching it but here. But at the same time, if you travel three miles in either direction, you're suddenly, within about 15 minutes of bike riding, in just the middle of nowhere, seeing hardly any vehicles and well, very little traffic, certainly nothing like this, unless obviously you're following one of these main roads. And again, somewhere like this now, at the bottom of Western Rin, we've just passed over the bridge where I like to moor Tilly by over the winter months, on my winter mooring, and this is no distance at all away from that roundabout, but just coming up even into the village of Western Rin itself, there's just, well, as you can see, very little traffic whatsoever. And again, this is at the school run time, so there'd be more cars about anyway. And, well, you can't really ask for much more. And it's what I love about these super rural areas that I've been so lucky to spend so much time in. Anyway, on that note, I'll say thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos for loads of boat life, loads of biking and goodness knows what else. Please do consider checking out my books and all of the good outdoors links in the description. But until the next time, keep it bike worthy, keep it boat worthy, have a fantastic day and farewell.